Hey friends, welcome to some part of the vlog. I don't know if it's the beginning, I don't know if it's the end, <laughs> or if it's in the middle. But anyway, Hannah and I, who for some reason doesn't want to be on camera right now, are going to Tiffany to actually get her graduation gift. So you'll have to stay tuned, see what she picks out. You obviously will have probably already seen what she tried on at the Soho location. Oh, sorry, it's very loud with the buses. But we're actually gonna go to the flagship store so she can experience that in order to get her gift. So hopefully I will be able to show you more of the store than I did when I was with Emily because Emily and I honestly were just talking the whole time. So I didn't do a very good job of vlogging that. So I will try to capture more footage this time. Maybe we'll go up to the cafe. I don't know if we can actually go sit down and maybe have like a little dessert or something, but we'll see. Anyway, we'll check in soon. That was Hannah. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. We are on the silver floor. Where's my necklace? Some pearls. This is all the hardware collection. Oh look, it's breakfast at Tiffany's. I never have either actually. What? I feel like that'd be something you've watched. Oh my god, look at how tiny she was. Is she still alive? Yes. No. Oh, here she is walking. There's the back of the dress. This is a medium. They did not see a small to my drawer. I'm going to check elsewhere, but let's see how it feels. I, mean, yeah, I like think it. probably the small would be better. better. Okay. We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker. We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter. Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter. Till the air can thin Standing in a blurry dream. Lisa, have you you've been here before? I have, yes. Very familiar. Perfect for the start. That's better. That's much better, right? Yeah. I mean, no one's here because we should do so. It actually compliments your little pearl uh, person too. Thank you. It's kind of cute. One day I usually don't wear silver. Mm -hmm. I usually don't wear silver earrings, so it's pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> They had a lot of these, as I sort of describe them, tulip-shaped bags. The, the top just reminds me of a tulip, but I really like the chain that hangs from them and then the top handles. And then Hannah found this cute little TBE little bag charm that hangs off you know, the little mama bag. And these also come in a north-south orientation, as you can see here. This actually sort of reminded me of a flower vase, I guess, because like I said, it's more elongated, but it comes with the top handle in the silver 
and then obviously the little mini top handles and then it also comes with a crossbody strap that you can see there in the bottom. This came in at $1,550 for that. I'm not sure I'd want to spend that on a Tiffany bag, but they're cute nonetheless. I really, really liked these sunglasses with the hardware theme on the back. I went over here to the sunglass section, but unfortunately didn't see them. I really wanted to try those on, so I tried on this hardware themed pair that you'll see here in a second. These are the silver version. They do also come in gold and rose gold. I tried on the rose gold, definitely not, not, did not look good on me at all. The silver ones were definitely my favorite. They were, I believe, $412, and I really like these. I don't have a pair of silver sunglasses, so those might be added to the list. And then we started to proceed upstairs as we were going to go check out to see if we could get into the Blue Cafe. You definitely need reservations here, but if you're willing to sit at the bar, you can definitely do so. And we're here on the homeware section, obviously a lot of table settings and plates and you know silverware, beautiful, beautiful tablescapes. If you are looking to you know, do a wedding registry, would highly recommend. And then I just love the ceiling they did on the blue restaurant. It's all filled with Tiffany boxes. So this is a commemorative charm that you only get at the flagship store. It's very cool. that after we did part of the vlog where we went to Olfactory NYC, we never showed you what we got. And you saw us, we went to Tiffany down in Soho and looked at some things. And then you will also have seen that we went to the Fifth Avenue flagship store and Hannah got something. So we're gonna show everything that we got. We're gonna do a little a little haul here. So Hannah already disposed of her bag and box. So this is what the bag looks like. It was very cute. It says Olfactory NYC. That's the box. And so. the box it would have looked like that. And it's purple because her inside is purple. Okay. So it looks like this. And I named mine Summer because it has coconut. And it says, how do you say it? Factory? Old factory. Old factory, and I chose blue on the inside, and a black cap. But she has a white cap. How special! Yes. Um, there's coconut and something else I don't know. So do you want to smell it? I didn't realize it smelled like that. It's good, but oh, I like it. Thank you. That's fine. So she got a lot I more than I did. yes. So the fragrance that I did. Uh, so this was actually from Morgan. This was her Mother's Day gift to me, which was so, so sweet. So the fragrance actually was from Morgan and she had already picked my fragrance name, which is my name, Lisa. We wanted it to be something else, but yes, it was But it was already fixed. named, so that's fine. And she picked the Lilac Purple. I did? Strip. No, oh, she did, Morgan, Morgan did. did. And the cap I did, yes, in white. Oh, I kind of smell similar. They're both like florally, I think. Anyway, but in addition to that, <laughs> I got to get both because okay, if you buy a fragrance, they also have body lotion and shower gel. And I like to do, if they have those things in this fragrance that I like, I like to get those so that I can layer my fragrances. And instead of being $60 a piece, which that seems like a lot, I'm sorry, for shower gel and lotion, if you get it at the same time that you're getting your fragrance, it's only $25 a piece. So I got the shower gel and the lotion. So that is obviously what the lotion looks like. That is the shower gel. So let's smell this. Probably different. Sometimes it smells, yeah, I think it kind of smells the same. Yeah, 
Although this smells a little more woodsy, yeah. I feel like. Than... So then we were walking by a diptyque store and I wanted to see if they had the lotion or something, either lotion, preferably lotion and shower gel. Again, to my point, in the Fleur de Peau fragrance that you guys know I got recently. So they do not have a shower gel, but she told me that they are coming out with a shower gel and another fragrance that has some similar notes as Fleur de Peau. So she's gonna let me know when that comes in. I think she said August, is that what she said? Yeah. So I did, however, get the body cream. I did open this already. I have used it, but it is really a thick, it's a body cream, definitely. It's definitely not, like it's like a body butter, not. And then I love that it comes with a little scoop thing that with that. And then she gave me a couple of Assistant. samples. Okay. She gave me the one, so the one that has the same notes or some similar notes to Fleur de Peau is called Orpheon. So she gave me a fragrance of that so that I could test that so, so I could see if I would like the shower gel. And I do, I have tried it once. And then this one is called oh, Duel, Duel, D-U-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. You guys know, I'm not a French person. So let's, we'll spray I this. Test the, the body better. Do only a little bit. So we'll do this and see. I have no idea what the notes are on this fragrance at all. So it was just another one that she gave us a sample of. That's pretty. Well, it's definitely different. Yeah. It's yeah. unique. I like that. It smells good. So yeah. So I was very happy to get that. And Anna wants to smell the body better. It is very thick. Mm -hmm. It's like that, the building. And then it's just, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> it's okay, it's pretty. This is what I got. And the guy was nice. Yes, I don't remember what his name was, but he was very nice. I don't think he said it. Look at the care card. Oh, ouch. It's a very nice gift, though. From I think you have to undo the thingy. I got it. We were also, this is it. Oops. It's like that. It looks like that. Very pretty. It does slide a bit, but I don't want it. I think the extra small we tried was too small. Thank you very much. It's yeah. very pretty. You're welcome. Happy graduation. Congratulations. It's so pretty. And then we have to watch the movie because you've never seen it. Yes, I told Hannah that I have never seen <laughs> Breakfast at Tiffany's, so we are going to watch it. Happy Sunday, everybody. David and I are in Brooklyn, heading to Industry City, which is kind of an outdoor, not outdoor, I don't know why I said outdoor. It's like, food hall and shopping. It's got some outlets in it. So there's an ABC carpet outlet. There's an R, a restoration hardware outlet. Um, West Elm and something else I can't remember. Anyway, we're going to look maybe a couple pieces that we need for the condo and just also checking it out. So I will take you along. Design within reach, which I always find ironic. <laughs> These are amazing chairs, especially if it's the actual brand. Not a fan of it in velvet, but in leather, chef's kiss.
design within reach by reach, you know, your budget is, you know, like $10,000 for a couch, then yay, this is the outlet for you. Yeah, most things are still not what we're looking to spend for, uh, for a couple of pieces, but it's still fun to look. So we're in the Japanese grocery store. Some very interesting things. Things I have no idea what they taste like, or but like I said, fun to look. If you're into sashimi, a lot of different kinds. All these really fun, cute little Japanese, I don't know if it's candy or I don't know what they are. So seaweed, I think. If I have any Japanese followers, please let me know what it is I'm looking at. And I will leave you here with the finale of the Macy's Fireworks on the 4th of July. Thanks for watching. Thank you.